Finished work now, walking home. This is Mark Police weekly videos. Uh, I'm going to show you I, some of the things I throw out the week. Look, okay, I'm just finished work uh, cutting grass from Arthreach all the way to uh, Newport. Uh, well, we did most of it. The other lads did the other half, so we've got all that done and we'll be working again tomorrow. Are we doing other stuff? And yeah, it's a pretty good job. I like it. So yeah, uh, this American Billy Ten. Uh, keep watching my video and uh, subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. And I'm just saying this now, they should build a shop down here because, you know, it's a shame we have to walk one mile in town, even though we get to see scenes of this every day, but yeah, they should really build a shop, somebody with money should do that, they'd make a fortune, like, it's not a big shop, like, not a little or anything, I'm saying like a little corner shop where they'd sell bread and stuff like that, I reckon they'd make money. And I wonder what you think the subscribers of my channel think. But yeah, that's what they should really build out here. Or they should have the pub at least open here around. Just a toss. It's a lovely day down here in Westwood House. Westwood House, one of the oldest houses in Westwood. I don't know if this is true or false, but at least you got a fact or non fact. Sun, sleet, or sh shine, I always do the walking. Oh, Jesus, beautiful day for it. Great day for the ducks. <laughs> now, on the way into town. Oh, shit.
Başar. achievement in what Shannon was after doing again. It's it's absolutely fabulous. We we talked and we said it before Anthony, wouldn't it be something else to come back with a medal because Shannon has been at this since she's 10 years of age. She's 24 now and I'm sure when she came to an elite level four, four or five years ago, she asked herself questions. Is she at that level, at an international level? to be up there with the best in the world in Europe. And Europe is one of the strongest nations in boxing in the world. So this is not just a bronze medal of any sort. It is elite world level, way more because she's a natural counter puncher. But to my shock, and it's the thing that we don't do enough of, is, is going forward. And I seen this idea in the third round. It just showed she wanted it so much in that last round. And her corner record him saying, go forward again and again and again. And she can't do it throwing combinations and finishing off with a jab at the end. It was like, I seen a side of Shannon that I hadn't seen before. And it was just, it was, I was, I couldn't be so proud and the club couldn't be so proud of the way she competed at the highest level in amateur world boxing. So this is John Morley. I'm gonna start the night with John just giving a short interview to Shannon and to give us all an idea of what the whole thing was about. And then Chairman Christie. Deputy Michael Ring, say a few words, and Peter. So uh, thanks for having patience with us. The whole county might say she's done us very, very proud out there in Montenegro during the week. Shannon, you might just talk to us, what are your emotions now like? You've had a few days to digest it, a bronze medal and one of the top class boxers in the world, as your coach just said. Um, it hasn't really sunk in yet, to be honest. Um, when I come back home and see everyone here for the support out for me, um, it's amazing. Um, obviously I didn't come home with the colour that I went out to aim for but coming home with a bronze medal is something that I've dreamed of uh, since I was a young age. Um, yeah, it's an amazing feeling. And talks about the year so far. It has been an amazing year as your coach has mentioned there, the multinationals and now this European uh, Elite Women's Boxing Championship bronze medal. What does it mean to you or how does this rank in your achievement so far? Um, this definitely has to be the best, the best experience. Um, as Martin knows, he sees all the. There's a lot of highs, but there's a lot of lows to get to this stage, and um, there's definitely been a lot of lows. You know, Peter and Brendan and Deputy Ring. It's great to stand here as chairman tonight. I was never stuck for words. <laughs> Uh, to you, happy birthday.